How to test for tight muscles. Yo, what up, Alpha Stacks fam? My name is Shlomi Kleiman, and I am an ACE certified personal trainer. Today, we're going to learn some quick self assessments that we can do to see whether or not we have tight muscles. This is great, not just for people that work out, but for all people. Especially if you work out, you're going to really enjoy this. Because many people that have tight muscles that work out, they're unaware of it. And it's good to know so you so we can know what we have to stretch more, what we have to, where we have to put more emphasis on flexibility. So let's start off with a for the first one, a very simple test. This is for our calves, a very, very commonly tight area. So I'll show you right here. This isn't gonna be a fancy video or anything. I hope you'll excuse me, you know, I'm just in my dorm rooms right now. Um I don't feel like spending a long of time editing, especially because I'm super busy with college. But I think to get the information out there to you guys is very important. Because I know someone out there, even if it's just one viewer, they learn something from this video. And if one person learns one thing, and for me, it's worth it. So this is what we're going to do for the first stretch. So we want to put our um, toes about six inches from the wall. All right, let's go. I'm going to bend your knees. And if we're capable of getting our knee to touch the wall with our big toe six inches from the wall, then we pass the test. And we obviously repeat that on the other ankle. If we find that, you know, we're just unable to get it to reach all the way, then that is an indicator. And that is an indicator that we have a tight calf muscle. So next stretch that I want to show you is for, um, for the chest. And it's for the pec minor. So I'll show you right here. So this one is actually meant to be done lying down. Um, but since the floor is a little bit dirty, let's pretend I'm lying down right now. All right, I'm sure you can rock the camera. I'm sure you'll get, you'll get the gist. It's not that complicated. All right. So pretend that this is the floor right behind. So pretend I'm lying down. What you want to do is put your hands like this. And see, can I reach my hands this all the way back to touch the floor when lying down? If you feel like you need to arch your back like that to get it down, then um, unfortunately that means you have tight chest muscle or tight um, pec minor. So pec minor is part of your chest muscle. Um, you could just Google PEC, P-E-C, minor, and stretches, or PEC, um, stretches, P-E-C, stretches on Google. Go on your images, you'll find a whole bunch of stretches for this. Same thing for calves, by the way. Just go do this, see if, you, if you, you're unable to touch all the way, then you have tight, but if you're able to get all the way, again, without arching the back, by keeping the back flat, then you're good. Um... And now for the next stretch, this is a really, really good one. Um, personally, I don't even think I'm gonna pass this test because I have very, very tight lats. It's for your latissimus dorsi muscles, AKA the lats. It's a massive muscle that runs from your arm down to your back over here. And what we're gonna do is keep our thumbs pointed up. So again, pretend I'm lying flat on the floor and you're looking at me from the top down position. We'll keep our hands straight up. And see, with our thumbs pointed back, up, um, upwards, in the direction of our heads, are we able to get our hands with our elbows straight, not bent, all the way? See, uh, this test I failed. All the way back. Oh, actually, I might pass it. I don't know. All the way back, without bending our elbows and without turning our hands inward. So if we feel like our hands have to turn like this to get down, then we have not passed that test. If we're able to keep our elbows straight and get our um, hands all the way back with our thumbs pointed towards the floor, then we've passed just like that. All right? And if you find that your one side is maybe tighter than the other, then for that stretch, just Google LAT stretches and go in your images. Lat stretches. And with a whole bunch of things that will help you out right there. Easy and simple. So yeah, again, this video wasn't anything fancy, but I think it, it conveyed the information pretty well. If you'd like to see more quick little snippets like this, then hit that thumbs up, 
and share this with a friend. And when you get out there today, make sure to spread some smiles, give a fist pump, give a smile, give a high five to somebody, especially somebody that you don't usually say hi to. And let's light up the world one smile at a time. Peace out.